I've been walking for hours. I don't trust the mileage readouts I get from anything. I'm on a trail, I think. I mean, other things have walked this way before. And I think they were human. But, I'm not sure if it's the trail. Because <laughs> it's not well marked. I am warm. Um, almost too much. been the right trail. Because I made my turn. I'm hot. I'm tired. My backpack feels heavy. So I probably need to readjust. I think I just walked through a spider web. And Google Maps says five and a half miles. That's nothing. Nothing. I got this. Damn it. I hear a car. Better go. You know where I am. Here I am. This is the trail I take to go up Mount Tam. That's where I normally park. Heck yeah, y'all. Heck yeah. Google tried to convince me that what I should do is rock along the highway. Nah. Nah. Okay, so now I gotta figure out which trails I'm taking. <laughs> Thirteen something miles, friends. I'm in the forest. Can you hear the water? It's down there. So, let's say I'm within two hours, God willing. Oh, hey, there's a person here. That friendly person looked like, this is still boot track <laughs> trail, right? Like, yeah. Then he was asking about the campground. And I'm like, well, I haven't seen one. But that doesn't mean there isn't one. When I was, I don't know. It was hours ago. And it was like, oh, you're going up Mount Tam? I'm like, I'm going to Stinson Beach. <laughs> Makes sense. And he just kind of nodded because it's like, I'm wondering, like, did he not know where that is? He was, he seemed nice. Um, so, what time is it? Oh, three something maybe? It, the sun is still up, but it's low, and with all the trees, I just love all this water. With all the trees, uh, the sun can't get through. These are some big trees. Redwoods. So they're tall. There's other trees than redwoods, too, though. So, I've been trying to drink my water. And I'll admit that 
my main motivation is to make my backpack lighter. Because <laughs> I think three liters of water is about six pounds. I'm guessing because of, you know, reasons. Well, wasps have been aggressive in this area according to a sign, so I'm going to try and not smell like meat. I hope you enjoy the scenery, and I hope having me in view makes it less like motion sick -y. <laughs> I've had to navigate my way around a couple of trees that were over the path. Gosh, I hope that guy's okay. He's gonna be fine. What am I gonna do? He had a phone too. Okay. Look at this. This big old tree fell over. The roots. That's the big old tree. That happened not super recently. Cool. Okay, look. I've held you up long enough. Time for me to use my poles again. Uh, so this happened. I, I want to say I made a wrong turn, but I didn't make a right turn is more accurate. And I went more than a mile in the wrong direction. And I'm going to be honest, at one point, early, quarter mile, I was like, wait, was I supposed to take a turn back there? And I thought, ah, carry on, Maria. These trails will all end up in the same place. Foolish. Don't be like me. Because now, it's dark out. So... Google tells me the most direct path is on Steep Ravine Trail. And though I have a headlamp, uh, I don't, uh, I don't fancy uh, walking on Steep Ravine Trail. I think it's a no-win situation, but I'm less likely to injure myself from just walking being on the road surface. Now, more at risk from cars, obviously. Hence the headlamp. Well, I need the headlamp to see. Um, I got that close. Put the headlamp on red because that shouldn't kill my night vision. My hat is just like I had it in back and it's just swinging around in front. Anyway, what a day! Can't wait to see how many miles I've walked. It's gonna be a lot. Oh, I forgot to mention. That turn that I didn't make, the, the trail I was on, oh, it was all downhill. So, of course, coming back up was all uphill. Don't be like me. 
All right, that's enough. Bye.